Alright, so this is a very basic tutorial. In case you don't know, I've been gone for a while, so I just wanted to make a, a very basic video that's easy to edit. So, I'm going to show you how to access all the like restricted characters and everything on Melee. So, like, you know, Giga Bowser and the wireframes without having to use like a gecko code or replacing other characters um it works on slippy online as well so you can't use a, a ranked or unranked you have to use direct to access them though you can only use the vanilla characters on ranked or unranked so to start off we already need to get next tool i'll leave a link in the description for it um very useful tool by the way you open iso and just find your melee iso so end it there open if i ask you to install next system press yes because you need that otherwise it won't work then you just gotta wait for it to load and there you go so once it loads just click on fighters so this is just going to show you the list of characters in the game so you can see everything on here you can even see like nana from the ice climbers um you also have Sheik on here somewhere uh right here she actually does this is like the little picture on like the css um, she actually doesn't have one. Same thing with Nana. So that's funny. Um, if you want to go to, you want to go to menus, click on CSS editor. So this basically just pulls up the entire um, character select screen. So if you can move everything around, you could change what character they are. You could change the icons and everything. Um, you could change their size. You could do everything with this, by the way. So start off, you just want to click on this little plus. So like an icon, it's automatically going to be Dr. Mario. It doesn't have to be Dr. Mario, by the way. You could change his icon. Um, I do have icon, so I will replace. So I will replace it, by the way, just to show you that you can replace them. Um, you don't have to replace them since it still works. But what you do have to do is change the fighter. This thing, open little drop down menu, and scroll way down. At the bottom, this shows all the like restricted characters. So, um. The Master Hand and Crazy Hand are a bit broken. I think it's depending on your character slot. I really haven't put them in the main menu. Um, Sandbag is also kind of broken. Um, but the main ones are just like the wireframes in Giga Bowser. So I'm going to put the wireframe on one. Which is the male one. And then let's add another icon right here. And then we're going to set this one to like... Let's put Giga Bowser on. So now you have these icons. So if you click this little play icon, it does an animation. Because Final Fantasy Max has this feature where you can have an animation on your um, your icons. So if you don't want this, just put them where you want them to be. Click End. Bring them exactly where they should be. You can look in the little white box and like get them a specific area. You have to make sure. You should make sure it's perfectly in the white box. Then you click Start. You test it out. Uh, he still moves like a... Yeah, he still moves like a little, but I don't really care. You're going to have to get... If you don't want the animation, you have to get it perfect. So let's go to like... This guy, let's see if we get it. Okay, now you click start and click play to test it. So this one's not moving, this one just is a little. Just click on end and then just go to the box again. Let's see. And click start and there you go. Okay, ne now, now neither of them are moving and I set their little icons to be the right one. I'm going to now replace the icon and just go and find it. Um, just give me a minute. All right, so I've replaced both of their icons with these two now. So it shows the wireframe now in the Giga Bowser icon. So once we save this ISO, it will fully be working. If we just click on the character select, we can play as these characters. Also, if you go to them in here, they they don't actually have any alts unless you add them in by yourself, and they do, they don't have the picture. And um, so you can add these in. If you don't, um, the pictures will just default to I think like Ganondorf's or something. I think they'll be like Ganondorf's like red and blue alts. I think I'm not too sure though. It's like really random. But I'm gonna save it now. So we'll just on file. I don't know if you can see it because I'm using window capture. Click export as and then click on ISO. And then you could name it wherever you want. So I'm just put. Okay. I'll do that. And then click on save. 
and then it'll save once it saves I'll show you the gameplay of the characters and I'll be testing it out and I'll be going over any bugs I think sometimes the Giga Bowser glitches I'm not too sure but I was I was able to play with him on Slippy I used like a I went into like a matchmaking server and I found somebody and then I just picked Giga Bowser um, I don't recommend you do that since it's, it's kind of annoying but I mean it's funny so I don't care Alright, so I just saved it. The green bar is gone now. So you can close out of mechs and just open the IX, the ISO, and Dolphin. Alright, so I'm in Dolphin right now. I have all of these here. So if yours isn't in the folder that your Dolphin is set to, you can just click on Open and you could find the ISO, wherever it is. So I'll be in my desktop. That's where I put it. It's not in the folder that I put. Just click on Open. And now your thing should open. I just gotta set it to the to the gameplay thing. All right, so I'm here in melee now. So as you can see, the two characters are here. And so now I've access them. So yeah, just Ganondorf to, uh, what am I saying? Just defaults to Ganondorf. And yes, they do make little announcer sounds. So I'll just fight Fox. So I'm pretty sure the wire fiends are completely fine. Sometimes they'll glitch out. Um, since you do have to install MEX system, sometimes like it'll show like what song is playing. That's just part of MEX. You can't really do anything about that. Um, but yeah, you'll just be able to play as them normally. Um, there's no victory screens in this, by the way, so you won't be able to access like, a victory screen for these guys. Oh, they just died. But, uh, it, it just works fine. You could use it on. I don't know if the wire are broken on the beat, but that Giga Bounce does work. A little versus screen that just shows regular Bowser, and then you'll see Giga Bowser load up. Alright, so I'm gonna test Giga Bowser. Sometimes the Giga Bowser, cr Giga Bowser crashes. Yeah, like I just got like a little warning thing. I, sometimes you can like spam through them all or something. It's kind of broken, but it can work. See, so yeah, I'm just, I just actually closed it. Alright, so I'm back on melee. I'm just gonna test him again. So. He is kind of broken, I'm just going on here, and I get that error message again, so I'm just going to click through it, and, yeah. and yeah, a lot of the times he just crashes the game, um, oh, I, get him, I got him to work on uh, Slippy once, I think I used the Gecko Code for that though, um, sometimes if you use the character select it won't work, but usually it does, um, I think Kiki Bowser works on some stages, but most of them he's broken on so um if you want you could just use a gecko code for most of them but if you want them to not replace someone then i just recommend you use this like this works for the wireframes so um yeah i don't really have anything else to say so uh bye bye if you have two people using the same skin because this only has one skin so it'll default just to the other ganondorf salt by the way but, I mean, that doesn't really matter. If you want to put your own picture on there, or you want to put your own alts, then go ahead. Go!